Now, your news on the go. One person is dead after a snowmobile accident in Oneida County. Yesterday morning, someone spotted the sled and a person in a ditch. This was around Route 69 in John Street in Rome. Sheriff's deputies tell us 55-year-old Christian Kukowski was pronounced dead at the scene. Investigators believe the accident happened Saturday night when snow squalls were moving through. A Syracuse mom in court over the weekend after accusations of an alarming attack of a teacher at Lincoln Middle School. Syracuse police say Lanzina Sutton walked into the school around 7.30 Friday and blew past security to find a teacher. When she found the teacher, police say she punched her multiple times and ran off. Sutton was later found and charged with assault and burglary. The teacher was taken to the hospital. Turning to a traffic alert, overnight crews will begin demolishing the ramp connecting 81 south to 41 north from 7 until 6 in the morning. The road will be shut down between exit 16A and the 41 south interchange. You'll have to follow a detour to 41 north at Brighton Avenue and Rock Cut Road. Work is expected to last all week, weather dependent. Today is President's Day, so some offices are closed, including city buildings in Syracuse. The yard waste drop-off site also closed, but make sure you take your trash out on time. Garbage and recycling pickup will stay on schedule this week. New York has been granted its first round of funding from the CHIPS Act. Senator Chuck Schumer announcing that Global Foundries North of Albany has reached a $1.5 billion deal with the feds. It's for the state's first and the nation's largest CHIPS incentive grant. The Saratoga County Company plans to use the money to design a new state-of-the-art fab. It's expected to add thousands of jobs to the region. Back in Syracuse, the Orange holding off Virginia for their fifth straight win and 12th ACC victory this season. The 85-79 win improving SU to 22-4 overall. Syracuse is back home Thursday to take on Duke. Tip-off is at 7. You can watch the game on the ACC Network Extra. As for the men, they came up short on Saturday against Georgia Tech. SU stays down south for their next game. They'll take on NC State tomorrow night in Raleigh. Tip-off is at 7. You can catch that game on ESPN2. From the court to the course, rain postponing the Daytona 500 until today. Engines will start revving for the Xfinity race around 11 with the Daytona 500 taking over at 4. This is the third time since 2020 that rain has impacted the race.